Here is how you can fix GFX D3D, now D3D12 error for GTA V or GTA V Enhanced Edition. Also, if you're getting the error of no DirectX 12 adapter slash runtime error. So basically what you can do is, uh, for the basic steps to fix this problem is to make sure that your Windows is up, up to date. Go to Windows. Um, update settings make sure Windows is uh, up to date by checking for the latest updates and installing them next uh, open your GPU app for me it's Nvidia app uh, check for the latest drivers and make sure they are installed so for me if I go to uh, drivers the Nvidia app and then uh, Install the GeForce game ready driver. Make sure you have the latest version. Now, if you do have it already installed, you can close this and then try to launch the game. Now, if it works, that fixes the problem. Now, if it still doesn't work, maybe your uh, hardware does not support DirectX 12. So, what you can do is uh, force the game to run. Uh, using DirectX 11 or older versions. First, we need to open the documents and go to Rockstar GTA V or Enhanced Edition. And then you should find a settings file like this. Uh, if you don't have it already, uh, I'll put a link to get this file and then you can put it in the same path in here. Now we're going to open this file in the notepad. And then in here we should see a a tab called DX version. We can look for it. DX underscore version. And we should see it down here. Now this when it's set to two, it means DirectX uh eleven. If you set it to uh three, it should use DirectX twelve, zero for DirectX ten and one for DirectX 10.1 version. So in this case, I'm gonna set it to two to use the DirectX 11. If you don't have DirectX 12 or it's not supported in your device, you can use this solution. And you can also scroll down here and type your uh, GPU name. If you don't know your GPU name, you can right click Windows icon, go to Device Manager. And then copy the name from here under display adapters. You should see your GPU name. You can copy it and type it here if you want. Now you can close this and save the file. Also, if it doesn't work with the DirectX version selected here, you can lower to use another version, for example, DX10. Now, if you do have uh, DX12 support in your hardware, you can simply uh, check type run command and type dx da diag and press ok and that should bring the directx diagnostic tool and it should display the directx version here used by your uh, machine now we can go to the display and see if it supports the directx 12 ultimate now if it does that should already make the game work. If it doesn't, if you don't have it installed, you can open the browser and download DirectX, type DirectX in the search. Click on the first link to take you to the Microsoft official website and then download the DirectX end user runtime web installer. Select the language and press download. And now you should simply install this. So I'm going to run this from my downloads as I have it already. Now accept this and it should look like this. Accept the terms next and then uncheck uninstall Bing next and wait for it to install. Now once it's installed you can click finish and reboot your PC then launch the game again and that should fix the problem. And that's it. Thank you guys for watching and subscribe.